Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great this weekend. I know most of you all will be very excited to move on to next year. And I appreciate for joining today's session. Today we will be doing uh, strawberries. I actually painted them with oil colors but today we'll attempt to paint it with acrylics. You can also use gouache if you want or you could work with acrylics. Today on this we will be pasting some uh, sketchbook storybook paper. So I'll show you how this is done. I already have it done for me so it won't take much time. Moving on to the materials we need this sketchbook paper. I am using uh, Zenzanga 300 GSM Polaroid paper. Uh, this is the gouache sheet and for paints I'll be using acrylics and then you need your brushes masking tape not necessary you could use if you want clear edges but we'll be painting in the center of the paper and then you need your jar of water your palette and also gesso a clear gesso this is completely optional I'm just using it for uh, to get a nice texture so if you are painting with oil colors you need to use this so that is mandatory also I guess you might be needing to use a tissue to keep your brushes clean so I guess we'll wait for like three more minutes before we get started uh, yeah also you need your glue to stick these papers on so I guess we will get started yeah, so let's begin so take your storybook sketch or a novel book some sheet doesn't have to be of your uh, storybook itself you could use some uh, newspaper sheet and then just tear it whichever shape you wish it doesn't have to be like very neat or something so this is how I'm tearing it we have your sheet something like this Some nice edges using scissors so I can match it to this edge nicely to be like this once you are done with this um, just see a few trials where it would actually look good on your sheet and once you're satisfied with the position then you could take your gum begin the process to stick it the sheet to stick onto your sketchbook for now I have only added the gum uh, on the edges but you have to actually put it throughout the paper so you can stick it evenly or else you're going to get some air bubbles inside your paper when you stick it so now I'm going to sit, stick this here slowly. This is how it's going to look once you're done. Now let me replace this with the one I have previously done. Like I said, after it had dried, I had applied a thin coat of gesso, a single layer to get that texture. So you can keep it like this or like this vertically. So the sticking can take some time. And make sure you don't use a lot of water when you're mixing your paint because the gum might not be fully dried at this point it might take some time for it to dry so we'll work mostly with the dry paint as it is without adding a lot of water so that's why this gesso it actually helps that water not to go deep into this paper so we can use a lot of water to mix our paint if you're using gesso start with the outline of strawberry we will be doing three strawberries today um i have another painting where i have done like four or five strawberries this was also done with oil paint i don't know how it's going to be with acrylics but the blending might be different compared to oil for the outlining of this painting i'm using 
is burnt umber take a little bit burnt umber onto your palette and with a thin brush a thin round brush you can start doing your outline it doesn't have to be neat or anything you can use your pencil also so you can erase and clear all your errors i'll keep one stroke here another here and third here So the easiest way to draw strawberries is just do a triangle first an inverted triangle and on top of the triangle do an oval shape like this slightly bigger and protruding outside of the triangle draw it in like an oval shape and from outside bring it into a curve like this towards the edge that will be your strawberry shape and as we paint we can modify the shape you don't have to have those sharp edges so you can smoothen all those edges and bring some curves and for the leaves it's going to be over here Normal leaves as how you draw. That will be my first strawberry. For my second one, the same thing. It's going to be overlapping the first strawberry. So again, a triangle, but this time I'm giving it like this. is my triangle and then a small circle oval shape on the top and join that with a curve again this is a rough sketch you can do with your pencil so you can rough and make it a clear sketch if you want or do with your paint itself We'll be painting on top of this, so this all these lines are going to. And I have another strawberry over here. Only a tiny part of this is shown like this. So these are my three strawberries. Now we'll draw the leaves from the center part of this oval shape. I'm going to draw my leaves. While doing your sketch, it would be very beautiful if you keep a little portion of it outside your storybook paper and a little bit part inside it. It looks like a vintage. I'll wait for some time for this base painting for it to dry and then I'll go over it with red, orange and yellow paints. These are the colors that I will be using. I also have some Vanium white only for uh, maybe the highlights I'll be using titanium white I guess it's right now let's go in with the colors I'm starting with the darker shade first so wherever there is a darker shade so I'm mixing some burnt umber to my red for the darker areas these are the darker areas which will be falling behind this strawberry palette. I'm using a small ceramic plate as my palette here. This is the crimson color. I added some 
burn umber to it to get a little more darker shade taking some red painting the entire strawberry with the same red shade you can see how these letters are showing from this paint it's like a translucent type if we are using oil paint it would be like completely opaque and you won't be able to see all those letters that's why i prefer using oil paint you can make that go away like once it get dried you can add some titanium white to it so that it becomes a bit opaque painted all of our strawberries with our base color which is orange red and once that dries we'll go in with the next layer so for this painting we'll be painting in layer by layer so that all the letters will get gone away and replaced with the paint let's keep on working with the shadow layers as well as the lighter layers together by blending we have to work faster when we are working with acrylic paints so that we can blend it quickly without making the streaks or paint being dried out too fast. I'm adding a bit of black to my palette to add a bit more shadows. I'm taking a light uh, outline with black and burnt timber. Let's go in with the lighter colors now. Taking you light yellow mixed with titanium white going over to that let's assume that uh, there is some light source coming from this side so all the strawberries will have lighter shade on this edge of the side and since the opposite side is the darker areas all the shadows will be over this side okay let's give some light to all the strawberries over this side with your brush and gently blend that into your paint let's do the same with the rest of the painting so we have some kind of a light effect on our strawberry and for the shadows, it's going to be the opposite of from where the light is falling. So this side, all the strawberries on the left side, let's give them a bit more darker shadow. You can take your crimson, mix with black or burnt umber and give some shadows. Also, there is a way to make your shadows look more lively and realistic by adding blue colors to your shadows. Since I'm adding here like black color, if I am using a little tint of blue, that will pop up my shadows to look even more realistic. I'll be showing you 
when we reach to the detailing phase of this painting i'm taking some yellow with that orange red to make it a bit more lighter over this area in the middle portion of all the strawberries i'm giving this light orange yellow and also you could mix a bit of titanium white give give that opacity to your painting i'm making the lighter areas much more lighter and the darker areas much more dark always make sure your all your paintings all your paints are in sync mix from the already mixed paint so that your painting will be in harmony without looking as if it's out of place so let's skip the seeds of the painting it's going to be like little diamonds take the thinnest brush that you have and go on giving some diamonds inside a strawberry that will be your strawberry seed make it as light as possible you could use just yellow and white also give your random seed like this here and there as i said to the lighter areas give it much more lighter and as you go towards the darker areas keep on adding some darker shade of the existing mix of colors which you did because it's going to be darker in those areas even the seeds are going to be darker in those areas i will give some dots inside of these diamonds just a tiny dot not much i'm taking some titanium white to give some highlights near these diamonds i'm giving some small dot dot around it Let's do the same with the rest of the strawberries, making it a bit more darker on the shadow area. Taking some light yellow mixed with orange red and giving diamonds inside the strawberry. taking some titanium white and keeping some dots over here to get a light highlight and that um glistening effect on the strawberry we have our second strawberry done and the final one I'm adding a bit more shadow as i did with the second one all the shadows to the left and all the light to the right and then taking yellow and orange red make it as light as possible then do the diamonds again adding some dots near the shadow make it look like glitters or water and we have our third strawberry so since we have done with the strawberry let's move on to our leaves taking some sap green already have my yellow over here for making it a bit lighter i have my dark here making it a bit dark i have my sap green light green and darker shade of it 
पेयर सैप क्रीम गोइंग ओवर एज लाइक अ बेस ऑन ऑल द लीव्स मेक सम रैंडम लीव्स हियर एंड देयर If you are using your uh, round brush, keep it. Uh, give a lot of paint in the middle. Press and then slowly lift. You get a beautiful leaf shape. Press and then lift it gently as you move far away. If you want to have a shadow. mix all these colors like this and then you will get that shadow leaf of the sleeve while that dry let's go over to the shadow below the strawberry as i said we can use a little tint of blue to make all those shadows pop up and this is a bit type of the ultra marine blue we top that with some titanium white make it as light as possible also it should have a light tint of blue in it then i'm going only on the edges of this strawberry with that taking more of this ultramarine blue and on the edges this will make those shadows pop up a little bit Tap the shadows under the strawberries, taking some black, adding a lot of water to it. Go under this strawberries like this. Trace through the edges. Take your brush and then glide them like this. So it will pull that paint into your water. Now we do the shadows. If you want more shadows, add some black to the edge like this. They actually say your shadows should be in the color of your object. So I'm adding a bit of all this red and crimson yellow to my black. since that's the color of my object so i'm going to like this adding a lot of water to it then once more going over this black and i'm washing my brush keeping a bit water in the tip of my brush and taking it from the edges of the paint a light wash of your shadow and also texture of the paper is helping me to get that shadow proper yeah that's it once this is dry we'll use the same technique as using our blue color to give it a bit i guess our leaves are dried now 
I'm blending this sap green with some white and yellow to get a lighter shade and going over my leaves. adding any water just this dry brush tip my shadow is dry i'm taking ultramarine blue mixed with some titanium white and inner corners just adding some dots It looks when we paint with that acrylic colors oil paint would be much more realistic with that you can you can definitely see the difference between this oil paint and acrylic paints blending will be different and the texture will be different the realisticity will be different i hope you all had a really nice time i had a nice time please do tag myself and zen sangam and i would really love to see all of your artworks year ending sale going on we have 25% off on selective products please make sure to visit our website because the sale is it ends tomorrow so make sure you grab all your favorite sketchbooks from our store hope you all had a very nice time painting with me and hope you all have a very fantastic year ahead thank you so much